Hello everyone, welcome to the Final Fantasy VIII stream for this evening. And we were just outside the Centra Ruins, which is where we left off previously. Um, I have done a little bit of side questing in between the two streams. Uh, one of the things I've done is finished off collecting the ingredients we needed for Squall's Lionheart Sword. So I now have that equipped. Uh, it's a little bit of grinding, but worth it, I reckon. And I, I always do this. Just need to mute the volume on the laptop so I can't hear my voice coming through the stream. Very off-putting and distracting. Uh, we're not going to do the whole of the Central Ruins. <coughs> Excuse me, the Central Ruins. We're going to collect the Odin GF, who is a special GF, which you will see about shortly. Uh, but we're not going to get the Tombury King at the moment because it's a long, long grind. So we'll talk about that uh, a little bit later. But... What we are going to do is make sure you have encounter non-equipped. The reason for that is you can see we've got a timer up there. That's the time we have in order to defeat Odin, in order to win him uh, to the party. But with that said, he has some good magics to draw. So I'm just concentrating on where I'm going as well. Uh, he has some good magics to draw. which will want plenty of time to do that as well, uh, namely triple. So we're going to start by uh, climbing the ladder on this side, the left hand side. If we can get to Odin with about 10 minutes to go, that would be ideal. So definitely have that... Uh, we need to climb this second ladder here. Yeah, definitely have that encounter none from Diablos equipped. If you don't have that yet, I recommend that you grind for it beforehand. We'll throw the switch. And then we'll be climbing back down the exact same ladder. There's basically like a couple of puzzles to solve here, nothing too challenging. But you want to make sure that you know what you're doing so that you don't eat into your time. And there's a lot of ladders to be walking up and down. And I tell you what, Squall and the party do not exactly rush themselves. And now we are going to be going up. Actually, before we do that, we need to examine this thing. There we go. All oh, right, there we go. There's that ladder. We don't actually need to climb it. So we're going to go all the way up. And we're going to climb up this ladder here on the left. And there's going to be an eyeball here. A red eyeball out of this gargoyle type statue. That we want to collect. But I mean, look, what a time waster. Squall has to wait for Quistis and Zell to do their moves. Before he will actually do anything. So we're already three minutes down. Why is he going up? Look, the controls in this game are not always as intuitive as they should be. I was obviously pressing down. But that's a precious 10-15 seconds gone to waste. There we go, look. That's more like it. Although I guess this game wasn't made with analog sticks in mind. And they are quite sensitive, aren't they? So we're going to go up now where we will find another statue now we're going to have to remember the code hello Zarek yeah welcome we're just in the centre of ruins at the minute and we'll get a code, I'm just going to jot that down into the chat although I won't actually put it into chat I'll just put it into the text box 7 treble 4 2, although to be honest that should be easy enough to remember uh, we need to take both of these eyes out now. Take out the left eye. Take out the right eye. You've probably guessed where we're going to stick those. In the first statue that we saw. So we'll once again navigate these stairs. And if Squall wouldn't mind getting a move on, thank you. Thank you. 
And we're nearly at Odin now. This is the final puzzle. So we're going to put in the left eye. Yeah, I do actually, yeah, uh, Zarek. I do remember this area of the game. And in the smoke here, we're going to have to put in that code, which was 7 trouble 4 2. Nope. Nope. Uh, 7 trouble 4 2. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. So I was pressing the uh, accept button, but it was actually the cancel button you needed to press there. And there we have the door to Odin's throne room. Now, Odin is an interesting encounter. But we'll wait until we engage him before we go into too many details. The weak shall perish, the strong shall triumph. Let's just hurry up and get to the dialogue. We want as much time as humanly possible. Now, I said Odin's, Odin's an interesting encounter, and he's interesting for one reason. He doesn't actually attack. So what I'm going to do is start by casting Scan. The reason I'm going to cast Scan is because we want to see how much health he has, so we can get him down quite low before we start drawing. Now, he's got 6,600 health, which isn't a whole lot. So we'll try and count that up as we go. So we've got 700 there. 800. 1,000. 1,700. So it's going to be annoying me counting, but... 1,800. 2,000. 2,700. 2,800. 3,700 so I won't go all the way in case I've miscalculated this will be 4,700 I should think now I'm just going to do another scan on him make sure we don't get him too low since I wasn't exactly counting precisely 1,300 well well let's go go for one more attack and We'll leave it at that. We're going to start drawing now. We've got 12 minutes to draw as much as we can get. Draw fair, that's not good. Please don't start this. Who's got high magic stats? Nobody by the looks of it. Well, this is going to be pretty rubbish. Oh, we've got seven that time. Triple is a good thing to draw. Death. Uh, I want to try and get Zell on triples though, because triples are what we really want. We'll get uh, Quistis on triple as well, to be honest with you. I mean, death is good to like stick on your weapon on status attack, because you can insta-shot a lot of enemies then in the game. Yeah, to be honest, it's my own fault. I didn't uh, give them good magic stats, and you need a high magic stat. I think it's magic stats in order to have a good success rate at the good old drawing. But if we can get a hundred triples at least, that's got to be a bonus. So if you're watching this on YouTube at a later date, you might want to just, you know, skip past this for the next few minutes. Drawing isn't the most exciting thing, as I've mentioned before. One of the downsides, perhaps, to Final Fantasy VIII. As long as Squall isn't failing, I reckon we'll get those 100 triples. Although, it could be tight. The good thing is, we only need to defeat Odin. The moment he's dead, the timer finishes anyway. So. And because he just stands there and does nothing, he's probably the easiest enemy to draw from. And you get triple even at a low level. I think he always has it, to be honest with you. I mean, although we've got like three and a half thousand health each plus, my characters are only in their teens still. Their stats are basically boosted by the junction system. So, eight triples there. Let's just quickly grab an update of how many of those we have. 61, you see, that's not too bad. 
I mean, we might even be able to get some deaths stocked up with Squall if we keep going at this rate. Again, would be useful to stick on somebody's weapon. And we've still got 10 minutes to go, so... Triple is, obviously, it's a useful spell to cast in certain situations. But on top of that, it's great to uh, junction as far as I'm aware. It really does boost your stats. That's it, Squall. You keep drawing eight or nine at a time. And we will be there fairly quickly. Well, he was on 61, wasn't he, last time I checked? Uh, okay, Zarek, what do doubles and triples do? Basically, they allow you to cast double or triple magic per turn. So, for instance, if you cast triple, you can cast three, I don't know, three meltdowns in a row. Or you could cast, if you cast triple, you could then cast haste on every party member in one turn. So that's basically what they do. So yeah, you're not going to be using them in every battle. They are quite situational. Ah, we're full. Let's start on the deaths. They are quite situational, but they are good for junctioning. So we'll keep Quistis and Zell casting or drawing triples. And then if Squall can get 100 deaths, that will give him... Is it 50% or 100% chance to uh, cast death on his attack? When we junction it to status attack. It'll be useful anyway. Hello, Leper. Welcome to tonight's stream. We're just at the end of the Central Ruins. There is actually a second GF, the Tombury King, that we can collect here. But I'm not going to at the moment because there's quite a bit of grinding involved in that. So I think we'll come back to it in a future episode. Once I've done most of the grinding, if that makes sense. I mean, Zell and Quistis, I'm pretty much drawing triple with them in order to... Uh, just have stocks of it to cast in future, rather than to junction it. Just going to check, I think, how many of these deaths Squall has taken out now. I like to use Selfie for my magic drawing. She tends to be the best at it. Got 47, so still a little bit to go. We could also get Stop. I don't think we have drawn stuff, have we? But I don't think we're going to get that in time. No, not today, Leper. You have to kill about 20 Tombries. So I think I might bore people, to be honest, if I did that. What I'll probably do is kill a lot of them. And then start a stream, if that makes sense. Going into hopefully finding the Tombri King quite quickly. Right now I'm just going to concentrate on getting Odin. Who I believe is an unusual GF in the sense that you don't cast him in battle. Rather he just turns up when he feels like it randomly. It's a downside to doing streams actually, Leper, rather than just going for straight up YouTube walkthrough series. Because if I was doing like a series on YouTube, I could just edit it out. It's quite easy. But on the stream, it's all live, so you can't really do that. Quistis and Zell both suck at drawing. They really do. So we should nearly be there now. I'm just going to... Out of interest, since we've got lots of time, to see how many... What's it called? Triple... Oh, Quistis has got 50. You know what? I don't know why I did that then. Oh, oh Sal's only got 10. He's really bad. I was going to say they might get 100 between them, but... No, should we go for a couple of stops? Just a couple. While we're here, we can. Now 
nearly there now. Four minutes to go. I'm not going to go for another four minutes though doing this. I just want to get a few stops. In fact, I think now is a good opportunity to draw a stop with everybody. If we could perhaps get to 100 between all three of them. So we could max one character out with stop. That would be useful. When did you last play this game then, Zarek? Are you playing through at the moment? I've already got Odin down to relatively low health for those that have just joined. So I'm not too concerned about the time. One more hit from Squall should finish him off. But I don't cut it too close. And have to reload the game and do all this drawing again, I'll tell you that. Oh, okay, so It's been a while actually for me since I uh, did this playthrough. A good few years at least. Ah, back in the days of the PS1, that was a while ago then now, wasn't it? What did you do, Leper? Did you run out of time after doing loads of drawing? Oh, did you make it in time? Ten seconds to go, well done. That is close. I suppose at least you've got it there on the PS3 then, Zarek. Right then, let's just double check how many of these stops we have. We've got 77 on school. So we'll go for one more and I'm sure we'll almost... Yeah, we're going to have to have enough now. 19, I think we've got it to be honest with you. In fact, maybe we could just finish it off on school so then we've got some extra. Oh, right, yeah, if you've not done FF7, that'd be a good idea. Another eight. Sorry, folks, I know this hasn't been too exciting. We reach Odin and then spend ten minutes doing a lot of drawing. Now, Squall only did five then, so is he maxed out? No, yes, yes he is. Which means it's time to one-shot this fella. There he goes, and there the timer will stop. Ah, oh, right, Leper, I see you ran around a lot. That's something that I purposefully avoided doing. We get Odin's card as well, nice one. And 20 AP. And a couple of uh, new abilities for our other GFs. And now we do have Odin, and it would be a good time once you've defeated Odin to go for the Tombridge GF. But as I said, I'm not going to. So as I mentioned, you won't actually get Odin show up here. Here's one of, I believe, two GFs that just appears randomly in battle. Rather than one you actually junction and equip. Go on, school, go down. And I was drinking my drink. But yeah, like I say, that will be it for the central ruins for today. Down we go. We're next going to be heading over to uh, Galbadia. No, not Galbadia. We're going. I think where we're going to next. Oh, we're going to uh, the first town that's outside. Garden. I can't remember what it's called. That's not Galbadir though, is it? Balam. Balam Village, maybe? Right, anyway. Let's save our game, shall we?
Right, and on board we get. Let's start flying over to our next destination. Hopefully I remember where we're actually heading to. Yeah, Balam Zarek. I don't know, I was thinking Balam Village. That's it, Galbadir Garden is there, isn't it? Being annoying. Hey, there's a bridge blocking our uh, way. Can't get the feeling we've gone the wrong side of the bridge here. Let's go this way. I don't go in there. I think we can get over this side easier. Or are we going to have to go all the way down and come above the top? Well, it looks like the bridge is closed. Ah, look, there we go. A nice beach. Up and over. There goes the train. Now we're over the other side of the bridge, I think. Yeah, we must be. We must be. Yeah, I did a bit, Zarek. It was a pain to find, I, th I thought. But we got there in the end. And it looks like we're at the right destination now. So we will disembark here. And we will enter Balam. Okay, so something is going on here. There's a soldier blocking the way. A Galbadian soldier. Need to wait for him to do something, I think. Just keep talking to people. There we go, look, and now he's going to question us. Yeah, I was thinking that myself, actually, Zarek, but I remember then if you just run around, the guy starts to question you. So we need to go to the hotel to speak to the commander. Apparently, we will be rewarded. So we have to take Zal here. I think we'll finally stick Selfie back in the party. And enter the town. What I am going to do is just do a quick junction exchange. What? Didn't realise we'd gone on to sell. Uh, that's more like it. Okay. Trying to get in here. There we go. Is this Sal's house? Yes. This is where we need to go first. Yeah, that's right, uh, Zarek. Right, we need to go over here. To the right-hand side. Get a little bit of a uh, cutscene. Yep, 
Raging and Fujin are here indeed. So if they're here, Cypher could be here. And if Cypher's here, perhaps the Sorceress is here. That's all we need to do here in Zell's house for now. Don't think we need to talk to these soldiers. What we do need to do is head to the inn, or the hotel rather. So what we need to do before we can speak to the commander, ah oh look our seed ranks dropped, is uh, actually find the captain. So it's a little bit of an errand that we keep running here. We're going to speak to this dude sitting down first of all. Okay. I don't think we need to talk to this guy. Maybe to this soldier here. Ah, here we go. Look, there's the dog. That draw point, how do we get it? Cure. Well, that's not too exciting, is it? We'll give it to school. Hmm. This is the soldier we need to talk to. I knew it was one of them. Okay, here we go. The captain. Yeah, he was just fishing here. But now he's gone. So we need to go back to Zell's house. Since the captain has gone to get some food. Well, he's eating his fish. There we go. Shouldn't let strangers in your house to... Uh, eat fish really should you but nothing exciting now is going on in this room in the kitchen perhaps well you're certainly gone now I'm not gonna go to Zell's room we're gonna take the scent back to the dog that we just found. I know this is a bit of a frustrating side quest running backwards and forwards but as long as you know what you're doing and I'm pretending to know what I'm doing then everything's okay. And now we just need to follow the dog and hopefully then he will lead us to the captain. See, it all makes sense. The elusive captain. Well, that doesn't look good. Well, there's raging. What I am going to do is go in here and not speak to this person. Hmm. 
Hmm. Just want to check something. I'm sure there's a little mini side quest here. So no, I don't want to uh, miss it if we can. Oh yeah, try speaking to this guy. Twice. Seems to be a bit stuck there. If we go next door now, this dude's ran over here. And now he runs off again. Uh, I think he's gone up here. Yeah, there he is. Look behind the car. Ah. He wants to talk to the hotel owner, so we need to distract him. Or did we do it? Ah, oh, we've missed it, I think. Because now we have the encounter with Fujin. And Raijin. Basically, we wanted to be able to speak to the hotel owner because uh, we have a chance of winning some decent cards. Unfortunately, we never got that opportunity. Maybe we will afterwards. And I didn't actually uh, prepare for this fight. Basically, both Raging and Fujin can be poisoned and put to sleep. Let's just make sure there's nothing to uh, take here that we don't have already. I think we need to heal up a bit though, don't we? Oh, well, they're easy enough. Hmm. I was expecting more damage out of Squall's Lionheart, actually. Did either of these have cure? No. So we're going to have to be a little bit cautious how we do this. What have I put on Squall's weapon that means it's doing crap damage? I don't know, but I think we're going to start going for some GF action. I need to get self healed up more. Uh, see what she's got. Nothing in the way of heals actually. Well, let's make sure we don't screw up on the boosting. 101 we can do better than that surely. I'd like to get to at least 130. 134, that'll do. We'll go for a cure guy on selfie. Get her health up. Hello, Red. Uh, I didn't actually. I missed how much damage that did. I'm still waiting for it to come in the post. I've got it ordered. I was hoping to get it today, but it never turned up. So I'm guessing it's going to be in the morning post tomorrow. Which is a bit annoying because it's Valentine's Day, which means I won't get to be playing as much as I would have liked to. Going to have to spend some time with the wife in the evening. But I am planning to get a lot of recording done on Saturday, so we're getting we're getting some episodes up on YouTube. Hopefully by Saturday evening, I would think. Have you got it then yet? Ready to be playing it? Oh, 
Oh, have you not played that yet, Zarek? Yeah, you probably should. Some people criticise Final Fantasy XIII because it was so linear. But if you can get past that, it is a good game. I don't know what I've got on school's uh, junction for elemental, but it must be thunder. Okay, definitely don't want to be casting Quetzalcoatl. I missed the fact it healed the first time. Right then, let's go for a bit of Shiva action. He might be weak to ice. No, I don't mind either, Zarek, to be honest. Yeah, I know, I cast Kurt Sakotl twice. That's a problem when you're streaming. Sometimes you're reading comments and not paying attention. I didn't actually look at the damage the first time. Ugh! Well, I hope he is weak to Shiva now that I've screwed up the boost. 95 is pitiful. That's less than 100%. Fifteen hundred damage. Go for some Ifrit as well. Right, let's see if I can do some better boosting now. Try and finish this guy off. Come on, Ifrit. You're quite a strong GF, aren't you? It'd be nice if Odin turned up, but he won't. Okay, Red. Good idea. Yeah, good point there, uh, Leper. Do want to get Pandemonium when we can. Not from raging here. Thirty four. I'm just going to stick to standard attacks on Zell. You could probably get about a thousand damage off in the time it takes for him to summon and cast a GF. Let's see if this is going to do the job. It's been quite a long battle, this, because I screwed up with Quetzalcoatl. Come on, let's boost a bit more than that. 110, 20, 30, 32, okay. And I think he's down. Hey, we got a strength up. Don't think we'll be able to heal up before battle, but it'd be nice if we could. Maybe we can actually. That'd be useful because I can get rid of that. No, we can't. The next part of the battle takes place in the hotel. Zell's an idiot. He could have just like waited two minutes and we could have healed up and whatnot. But nope, had to go washing in. Right, let's see how we get on with this battle then. Just to remember not to cast Quetzalcoatl. First thing I do want to do is go for a bit of drawing action. Tornado, that's nasty. Especially when we haven't saved for so long. Whoa. Stop that. Cast. Hang on, what happened then? Uh, what I do want to do... Oh, right, yeah, I saw what happened then. Has anybody got Reflect? I don't think they have. So I'm just going to get some heals going first of all. If, you can, if you've got Reflect, then by all means, go ahead and cast that. Very useful spell in this fight is Reflect. Reflect. 
Why does Squall heal for so much when he doesn't even need that healing? It's because he's got a high magic stat, isn't it? Let's get him some healing on healing duty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we'll get Zell on GF duty. And Selfie, I think. Yeah, come on, let's get him up to full health. That'd be nice. Hmm, that's not far off. Some of their attacks are quite nasty, I've got to say. Go on, you attack if if you want to. Uh, who should we summon here? I'm thinking... Should we go for Leviathan? No, not Leviathan. None of these have actually got boost, I don't think, have they? We'll go for Brothers then, although I don't think any of them have got boost, in all honesty. But we'll see how we get on. Maybe get Squall on attacking Fujin. Since he, uh, she's not weak to Thunder. And that could finish her off quite quickly while the others do GF power. Uh, do we get 140? Yeah, we do. Good boost there. I don't think the brothers are going to do all that much, like I said. But we'll see. Fifteen hundred, that's like GF power right there, isn't it? Yeah, it's the lion heart red. I haven't had the opportunity to cast his limit break yet. No, no boost on brothers. Earth damage. But it's nice to see them, we haven't actually cast them yet, I don't think, have we? Yeah, they're rubbish. Won't be in a rush to do that again. No! Don't bloody cast it on him. Right then, uh South and Maswell go back to standard attacks now. As soon as have her GF source suck. Yeah, definitely do not Junction Thunder onto anybody's weapons. That's the one thing I've learned from this encounter. Aero would be better. Not getting to 140 this time. Let's see if we can finish Fuji enough quickly. I don't think Zhao's going to get if it's off again, is he? Just get killed. That sounded quite wrong, what I just said then. Right then, let's try that again. Keep them all on attack for now. No, will you stop attacking him? I thought we had Cursor on memory. Okay, Zhao, do not attack Fujin. That's something else we've just learnt. Goodness me. The, element the elemental defences here are really annoying in this battle. You, there, you, there, you, there. Fujin is still not down, that's annoying. No, over there. That's it. Right, there goes Fujin. Yeah, you get out of here, please. And now we're going to get Squall on Shiva. Ah, no we're not. We're done. No, no we're not. We're getting the High Potion action now. 500 health restored. 1000 health? I thought High Potion was... Oh, not to worry. Right then. We need to get Shiva out. Let's try and get that 1000 health back off so we can get to doing real damage.
Well, I think we've got the thousand back off that he just healed. So now let's see what Sheba can do. Spam, spam, spam. No, I want more than that. Ah, oh, come on, 140. Yeah, 145, that'll do. Is that it? Looks like it. And just remember to withdraw. Withdraw to draw pandemonium. Yeah, definitely don't want to miss that. Another strength up, combat king number two. And another batch of the good stuff. Are the two of you taking orders? Sorry about that. From the sorceress. Right, so that ends our encounter with them two. That fight, or those fights I should say, there was two of them, could have gone a heck of a lot quicker uh, had we prepared for it. So Trebia Garden will be our next destination, which is northeast of the town of Balam. So if we speak to the dude here, we are ready to go indeed. Uh, I think we'll go for Selfie once more. And yeah, I'm happy to stick with Zell for now also. And we will be going northeast to Trebia Garden. But I think we're going to finish off here tonight because I'm a little bit tired to be honest. And that battle frustrated me that we just did, so I need a break now. Uh, but please do keep checking back for more live streams. Thank you to those who have joined me tonight, by the way. And if you've been watching on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate everybody who does. And I will be back next time for more streaming of Final Fantasy VIII. But also, I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy XIII 3, Lightning Returns. I'll be getting the first few episodes of those up over the weekend, so make sure you check back for that. And I'll see you next time, so bye folks. Take care. <laughs>